the morning now. It's very early. And there's a little grainy here because of the lighting. The sun's not up, quite up yet. <clears throat> this is going to be uh, a little bit different of a video. Many of you who have followed me for a while, followed my channel here, um, have heard me read from the scriptures. And it's something that it is one of those things y'all have requested from me. And I have and I have Devil Dog. I recognize a distraction when I see one to keep me from doing this. Now, is that Father? Father who said so many things to me as I heard this scripture being read to me this morning on my Bible app, on my phone. It's Psalm 37. And I thought, well, normally what I would do is take the time to sit and write. And for those of you who do not realize how much time I spend writing, I've spent so much time writing, looking down, that it messes with my neck. Um, real akin to pulling a bale of straw out of a hold. <laughs> However, this, I know everybody everybody has one or knows somebody that did and I talked to let's see, here it is it's a cyst and usually it's because of you're doing work with your hands people who crochet, knit and apparently write incessantly <laughs> and they used to refer to it as a Bible cyst because that was the way to fix it and the man I spoke with yesterday we were talking about it I had a doctor actually do what you're supposed to do to get rid of it it's the best thing is to take the biggest book in the house which was usually your Bible have the person lay their hand flat on the surface and then you smack it with the book the first time that was suggested to me, I nearly cried at the thought. If you'll notice, my, can you tell? Yeah, my fingers are a little wonky from arthritis. And they're little, please don't smash my hand with a book. What's I got to do with Psalm 37, Betty? I was going to write it, but I decided I'm going to try something new. I'm going to read it, and I'll say the things that Father leads me to say, and we'll see how it turns out. My prayer is that you will be blessed. I pray. That you will use my voice and these words to minister to your people. To remind them of who they are and what they are to be about. I pray that you will bring shalom. I pray that you will bring wisdom, courage on this end of day. Make us bold. Make us brave. And help us to stand. Stand on your word, your promises, your love, your grace, and your mercy. You are Father. You are 
You are Yahweh. Yahweh. Hello. Yahweh. Thank you. <laughs> Psalm 37 of David. Do not fret because of evildoers. Do not be envious of the workers of unrighteousness, for they soon wither like grass, and they fade like green plants. Trust in Yahweh and do good. Dwell in the earth and feed on steadfastness. And delight yourself in Yahweh and let him give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to Yahweh and trust in him. And he does it. And he shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your right ruling as midday. Rest. Rest in Yahweh and wait patiently. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man doing wicked devices. Abstain from displeasure and forsake wrath. Neither fret only to do evil, for evildoers are cut off. But those who wait on Yahweh, they shall inherit the earth. Yet a little while, and the wicked one is no more. And you shall look on his place, but it is not. But the meek ones shall inherit the earth and delight themselves in plenty of peace. The wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him. Yahweh laughs at him. For he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn the sword and have bent their bow to cause the poor and needy to fall, to slay those who walk straightly. Their sword enters into their own heart and their bows are broken. Better is the little of the righteous one than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked are broken, but Yahweh, he sustains the righteous. Yahweh knows the days of the perfect, the set apart. And their inheritance is forever. They are not ashamed in a time of evil, and in the days of scarcity of food, they are satisfied. But the wicked shall perish. And the enemies of Yahweh, like the splendor of the meadows, they vanish. Like smoke, they vanish away. The wicked borrows and does not repay. But the righteous one shows favor and gives. For his Baruch ones inherit the earth. But those cursed by him are cut off. The steps of a man are ordered by Yahweh, and he delights in his way. Though he falls, he's not cast down, for Yahweh is supporting his hand. I have been young, and now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Or his seed begging bread. All day long he is showing favor and lending, and his seed is for a barakah, a blessing. Turn away from evil, repent, and do good, and dwell forever. For Yahweh loves right ruling and does not forsake his kind ones. They shall be guarded forever, but the seed of the wicked is cut off. 
the righteous shall inherit the earth and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of right ruling. The Torah of his Elohim is in his heart. His steps do not slide. The wicked is watching for the righteous and is seeking to slay him. Yahweh does not leave him in his hand or let him be declared wicked when he is judged. Wait on Yahweh and guard his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the earth. When the wicked are cut off, you shall see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a native green tree. Yet he passed away, and see, he was not. And I sought him, but he was not found. Watch the perfect, and observe the straight. For the latter end of each is peace. For the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The latter end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the deliverance of the righteous is from Yahweh. Their strength in time of distress. And Yahweh helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and he saves them because they took refuge in him. Amen and Amen. Turns out you don't need my comment. His word. It's enough. Oh, be blessed. <laughs> I pray you are filled with shalom. Sabbath is coming. I pray you find rest. I love you.